Uh, reports from Lord Huchier. A number of enemies have made it inside. That is rather careless of them. Are they up to something? Or perhaps they are simply desperate? Either way, we cannot make our move until we deal with the enemy. They are small in number, so Master Huchir and I can handle them. Master Tao Tao, you must excuse this sudden visit. My sworn brother, Liu Bei, is in Xiao Bei, which has come under siege from Liu Bu's forces. I wish to request that you loan me some of your troops to repel Liu Bu. Hmm. So Liu Bu's finally making his move. He'd be better off staying in Sha Pi. There is merit in us eliminating Liu Bu from the equation. However, if we move now, Liu Biao may strike us from behind. Shunyo, tell me what you think. Liu Bu is currently the only active threat to us. Plus, there are no other forces that will go to his aid. We should take out Liu Bu before we face Yuan Shao. However, a siege will take time. If somebody else uses that opportunity to make their move, we'll be in trouble. In that case, how about this strategy? We dam the Ishui and Sushui rivers that run near Shapi, inundating the castle with water. That is a brilliant idea. We will channel the water into the castle at Shapi. We simply need to seize control of the floodgates to make it happen. Very well. We shall proceed with your plan. Begin making preparations for the flood attack. This is our best chance to slay the demon Lu Bu. I must return to Xiao Pei with all haste. Excuse me. It must have been difficult for him to break through Lu Bu's siege let alone make it all the way here. Yet now, he looks to do it all over again for his master's sake. He uses his considerable might to fight for what he believes to be just. He is truly worthy of the moniker God of War. Huh. It was his actions that led to Lu Bu's rise in the first place. That's rather bitter of you, Shah Hudun. Although, I feel I could utilize him properly if you were under my employ. Don't you agree? You're still hanging on to that dream? He will never leave Liu Bei's side. You heard him yourself. No. I suppose not. However, it is clear that the lowly Liu Bei does not deserve a warrior such as Guan Yu. The best way to bring down Sha Pi Castle is with a flood attack. I'm confident that Master Borgia and I will be successful. A flood attack. Borgia and Shun Yao are brilliant indeed. Everyone, this is our chance to rid ourselves of Liu Bu.
to cut you down where you stand. The master of Jia Shu has ordered me to stop. I don't plan on letting him down. <laughs> efforts bring peace to the land. Defending Dean Tower, I cannot afford to fall in battle 
to hear. Should we reply? Please, make a decision! Hmm. I don't like the sound of that. That is most unsatisfactory. What of the agreement we reached regarding the marriage between my son and Lu Bu's daughter? Has Lu Bu mentioned that? So, how should we reply? Please, make a decision! I see. So that's what you're after. Are you sure there are no signs of rebellion within your ranks? I can't risk helping you if there are any murmurings of discontent. So, how should we reply? Please, make a decision! Hmm. I don't like the sound of that. That is most unsatisfactory. You may say you need provisions, but it's not as if my forces have any to spare, you know? Ah, that was a mistake. You and Shu's eyes are full of suspicion. Oh, I see. That's what you were thinking. Hmm. Very well. I will give you some provisions, but make sure you don't forget the marriage talks we agreed to. Okay, we've got their provisions. Everything is going just like Master Jia Xu planned. Lord Cao Chou, the supplies are already on their way to Xu Chong and Ding Tao.
isn't a mission I cannot accomplish. To those of you who support Nobu, know that to oppose me is to invite death upon yourselves. May my efforts bring peace to the land. Huh? What? Why is the gate opening? Zhao Zhao's forces have attacked! <laughs> Forces have infiltrated the castle. Master Lubu, I suggest a plan to deal with them. I do not need a plan to crush insects. I will just stomp on whoever I see. <laughs> Yes, that is wonderful news. 
It looks like I accomplished my duty admirably. We all know our target. Okay, that takes care of things here. Now, to meet up with Master Cao Cao and the others. May my efforts bring peace to the land. Let me understand. You plan on breaking the floodgates and flooding Xiaofi? I will never allow that. This is our best chance to kill Lu Bu. Therefore, I refuse to let anybody stand in our way.
believe I lost to someone weaker than me. It's something called strategy, Lou Boo. <laughs> someone like you, who depends on physical strength, will never beat me. <laughs> then tell me, what would happen if you add my strength to this thing you call strategy? So you wish to pledge service to me? <sighs> Master Tsao Lu Bu is a beast. Don't let desire for strength deceive you. Uh, damn you, Liu Bei! Uh, uh, Farewell, Lu Bu. Let your pride and be the best. Die with you here in Xiaopi. Uh, <laughs> Master Cao Cao, you have my most profound gratitude for your aid. That was my best chance to finally slay Lu Bu. There is no need for you to thank me. That may be so, but I owe you a debt nonetheless. My word is my bond. Guan Yu, I wish to speak with you for a moment. I would like for you to join my cause. Your might is equal to that of the fearsome Lu Bu. I could use one of your skill and valor. I am not worthy of such bravery, but my place is alongside my sworn brother Liu Bei. I am afraid I must decline your generous offer. Liu Bei does not even begin to comprehend the magnitude of your greatness. I care not what others may think. I will serve and support my brother. Forgive me. Cao Cao, don't grow too fond of Guan Yu. He will never agree to serve alongside us. I wouldn't be so quick to give up on him. There's still a possibility that we may be able to use him. Even if only for a short while. Master Cao Cao, you and Xiao will defeat Gong Sun Zun before long. As such, it is only a matter of time before he makes his move south. Liu Bei enjoys the service of the mighty Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. We should utilize them to defeat Yuan Shu while we still have the chance. Indeed, Guo Xia. The showdown for Hua Bei draws near, meaning we must quickly subdue the Central Plains in order to prepare for our own confrontation with Yuan Shao. My lord, Yuan Shu has named himself emperor and is marching north. So, Yuan Shu has made his move. 
Although facing him will expose us to Yuan Shao, we cannot leave him be. Then you must allow us to join your cause, Master Xiao Cao. This is our opportunity to repay the debt we owe you from Sha Pi. Besides, I cannot forgive one who would take the Emperor's name in vain. I think that is a brilliant proposal. Master Cao Cao, we should agree to accept Master Liu Bei's assistance in this matter. Rumor has it that the current ruler of the Sun family, Sun Se, is considering leaving you in Shu's shadow. We should consider working together with him. Very well. Guo Xia and Shun Yu, I shall leave the details to you. We will defeat Yuan Shu once and for all. We shall slay the silk. Claimed Emperor Yuan Shu. All units, forward! disgrace than to flee before the enemy. It is time he paid for his contemptible behavior. Thank you. 
are complete. Now we can move to the attack. isn't a mission I cannot accomplish. I need to meet with Master Yuan Sha to reach peace. Yuan Ha, handle it. control of Hebei. We may have no greater opportunity than the present. It seems the time for our inevitable showdown has finally arrived. Yes. Yuan Shao may outnumber us on paper, but I have faith in the superior talent of my men. We shall return to Xuchang 
We must begin making preparations for this final battle. Yuan Shu has been slain. Now we can turn our attention to Yuan Shao. Ah! <coughs> it seems like I don't have much time left. However, I just need to hang on for a little bit longer. That cough. I knew it. You're... Hey. What's with the scary look on your face? I'm just a little tired, that's all. Master Guo Jia. Ha! I guess you're a little too smart to fall for that line. Master Shunyo, your supposition is correct. However, I ask that you please keep this between us. My time here is limited. That is why I must see this through to the end. I would appreciate it if you could allow me to realize this one final wish. I understand. If that is your wish, Master Guo Jia. Thank you. I knew that I could count on you. Now, just as we planned, we'll slip the poison into his drink. Yes, that is the first step. Master Ma Tang and Master Liu Bei are ready to make their move as well. This is our chance to punish this traitor for seeking to bask in the Emperor's glory! I see you have shown your true colors at last, Dong Chen. Hmm. What is the meaning of this commotion? Father, may I have a moment? We have captured somebody who is part of a plot to have you assassinated. What? Dong Sheng? How dare you? Cao Cao, you are a servant of the Emperor, yet you ignore His Highness and act as if you rule the land yourself. You think... Perhaps you think you are the Emperor, or that you will take his place. You must be punished for your boundless arrogance. I have no intention of becoming Emperor. The land may require the Imperial Throne, but the Yellow Turbans and Dong Zhuo have shown that that alone is not enough. Therefore, I must bring a sense of reason to this land that, combined with the influence of the throne, will save this land. That is the path I choose to follow. I do not expect someone like you to understand. However, I cannot allow you to interfere, either. Take him away. Father, it appears that Liu Bei was also involved with Dong Cheng's plot. However, Liu Bei has already fled Xu Chong, and even gone so far as to abandon his lands in Xiao Pei. <laughs> he truly is a small man, in both size and ambition. Cao Cao, see how they repay your kindness 
If you leave them be, they will surely turn against you again in the future. You must eliminate them now, while we still can. No, we are fine to deal with them later. Liu Bei's only choice is to flee to Yuan Shao. There he will likely be used as a sacrificial pawn in a much larger game. We can deal with him when we face Yuan Shao. Even if he lives, there is nowhere for him to go. He will not be a problem for you any longer, Master Cao Cao. Hmm. Shao Du, Shun Yu, there is merit to what both of you are saying. Do I chase after Liu Bei, or do I make preparations to face Yuan Shao? I must give the matter some thought. Yuan Shao is using his superior numbers to his advantage. Our defensive lines along the Yellow River have fallen, as have Bai Ma and Ian Jin. That means that Gu Yang has been isolated. I am also hearing word that Sun Se has conquered Jiang Dong and is planning to follow up on Yuan Shao's movements by invading Yan province. So. Should we withdraw for the time being and look to regroup our forces? No. It will not be easy for Sun Tzu to invade Yan province. He conquered Jiang Dong with alarming speed. As such, he has created many enemies. He will be too focused on his immediate surroundings to make a move now. <clears throat> what do you think, Master Shun Yu? Care to share your wisdom on the matter? If we continue to focus on defense, we will never come out ahead in this battle. Therefore, I think we should target the enemy's positions at Bai Ma and Yang Jing. Bai Ma and Yang Jing are defended by Yang Liang and Wen Chao. Although, they are some of Yuan Shao's fiercest officers, their units are woefully undermanned. We should abandon Puyang and leave the bare minimum of troops to defend our main camp. The rest of our forces will strike the enemy and create a path to victory. I have made my decision. Shunyo, we will put our destiny in your hands. Reform the units and leave a minimal squad to defend the main camp at Guandu. Everybody else, I want you to rendezvous at Bai Ma and Yan Jin.
Yajin will be your graveyard. Oh, my God. 
Chen Chow, my apologies. <laughs> village. Please, take this reward. May my efforts bring peace to the land. Shao's men. We can talk then, if you like. Oh, you want to defeat Yuan Shao? Good! Prove you have the strength then. There's a place nearby to test your courage. Do so, and we'll aid you. makes my blood boil. I'll rampage through Guandu. There isn't a mission I cannot accomplish. Trust in my words and come to see me. 
The advantage lies with Master Saltown. I will surrender. I bring with me a gift. I will tell you the weakness in Yuan Shao's army. Here in Wuchao is a large-scale storehouse. As you know, provisions are vital for any army. With a storehouse to burn, for example, that would be a major blow. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Master Shen Yu, your work at Guangdu was spectacular. Your exploitation of Yu and Chao's weakness in that battle was exceptional. No. My humble contribution was nothing compared to your own Master Guojia. At Guangdu, it just so happened that I was the one the enemy leaked that information to. After that, I just used the information to give our Lord the very best plan I could think of. You don't allow yourself enough credit, but I guess I should have expected that of you. I, standing in front of people and detailing a battle is just not me. I have no problems with just acting, though. I just can't be like you or Master Yu. Or be like Master Jia Xu. Hey! Oh, yeah. I hear someone saying my name, and it turns out to be you, Master Shun Wu. It looks like you talk a lot when you drink. Master Jia Xu? <laughs> Sorry for butting in. I guess I can go do my thing somewhere else. A small interruption. A great plan. Your ability to startle people is truly exceptional. Uh, I can't hold a torch to Master Joshu. That does put me in a difficult position. I had planned to have you take over for me one day. Master Gojia. No, it's nothing. You have your own strengths, especially when it comes to... Anyway. I really like that you accompany me when I'm drinking. I couldn't ask for a better friend than you. Yes. I will stay with you as long as you need me.